Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Ron Steele. That woman now lives in Tampa, Florida. And like so many others, she is struggling to recover after Helene carved a deadly path through our nation's southeast. KWW reporter Emily Moss talking to the Iowa native today and other Iowans headed south to help in the recovery. Emily. Ron and Elizabeth, today I spoke with the American Red Cross about volunteer efforts. A local energy cooperative deployed to help and that North Liberty native who tells me Hurricane Helene was her first hurricane as a new Tampa resident and it's one she'll never forget. You're watching everything unfold and you just don't know what, at what point is this going to stop. Sophia Aguirre is a North Liberty native who just experienced her first hurricane as a new Tampa resident. So I felt pretty prepared. I had all my snacks and everything ready to go. But again, my sisters and other native Floridians that have done this before, they're like, you don't need to do all of that. Like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. So I'm like, okay, whatever you say. Thursday night, she watched from her second floor apartment as the water rose, taking over the first floor and surrounding cars. There were people, because of how high the water got, um, they had to sleep on the top deck of my apartment building because they couldn't leave. There was just too much water and they had kids. That Where else were you gonna go? Days later, cleanup is still underway. We have a mountain of trash um, outside my complex with furniture, with toys, with, with beds, with anything you can think of that the water touched. Over in South Carolina, Eastern Iowa Energy Cooperatives are being dispatched, working around the clock to restore the power. Those people have lots of needs right now. So if we can send guys down there that can help with one of those needs and get power restored so they can start to get their lives back to normal. I mean, obviously that's that's a very fulfilling, fulfill, it's very fulfilling to be able to do that for them. And across the Southeast, 15 Iowa Red Cross volunteers are currently deployed to help with shelter, food and more. Obviously this is a, a very traumatic experience for folks who are, who've lost their homes, um, and, you know, having that help and support to get through it and move forward uh, is a vital part of the recovery process. Aguirre says the events from Thursday she'll remember forever. Just, I'm going to be hearing car alarms and horns in my sleep for the next couple of weeks. It is bizarre to go out and walk my dog and go out and drive my car and to think just a couple of days ago this was all underwater. But like so many across the Southeast, she's relying on the support pouring in from across the country. It's going to be a lot of work to clean up, but I think if there's one thing that I have come to love even more about Tampa is that, um, and even Florida in general, everybody has come together. Sophia says she's keeping a close eye on several more storms that could develop in the next month near the Gulf as she continues to navigate her first hurricane season. The Lynn County Rural Electric Cooperative and the Coconut Valley Electric Cooperative will have linemen in South Carolina for around 10 days. Ron, Elizabeth? All right, Emily, thanks so much for the update. And right now on our website, you can find links to donate to Hurricane Helene relief efforts.